Hello, this is Reza from Visual Components. In this tutorial, let's practice together few more statements of process modeling. Those statements are start transport in, start transport out, wait transport, and select products. Start transport in and out are basically the same as transport in and out, but execution continues until wait transport statement is reached and select products are for distinguishing the product through the variables. During this tutorial, I will use the layout as you can see in the screen, which I will also attach it to this lesson. But to learn how to set up such layouts, please go to our academy at academy.visualcomponents.com and search for using resources. There you will find the lesson introduction to using resources that will teach you how to set up similar layouts with process modeling. So the scenario in our layout is there are two feeders that are giving one piston rod and one piston head using two human resources to be transferred to the manual station and from there they go to the sync process. Now let's go to process tab and activate the flow. Under process flow editor you see two flow groups that the first one has piston rod as product and the second one piston head. By looking at process executor of the manual workstation we can see that the executor is first calling one part and then calling the second part because basically executor is going line by line. So when the first part arrives, then the executor waits for the second part. But what if we want both parts to come in the same time? So let's get rid of the transport in statement and bring in the start transport in. Let's have two of that and the executor will execute these two lines quite quickly and then it goes to the line for wait transport statement and it waits there until the parts are arrived. So now when I press play, you can see both humans approach the feeders right away and go to bring the parts. Let's try that one more time. So I go to reset it and then press play. So you can see both humans right away start to go to the feeders and carry the parts. In this tutorial we are talking about two parts. One is a piston rod and the other one is a piston head. But if you see inside the process executor we have the variables named product in for both parts. Let's distinguish the products in our process executor. So I will bring in two select products statement. We don't want all the products, but we want to accept only piston head here in this statement. And I will choose the accepted product type to be piston head. And let's do the same for the other statement, piston rod. So piston rod as the variable name, the product type will be piston rod. And of course, we don't accept just everything but piston rod in this statement. Then we have a 10 second delay. That could be a process time. And also I want to send the parts out with their own product name and also at the same time. So for that purpose, I will delete the transport out and use the start transport out statement. And let's put a delay of five seconds between sending out each part. So I'll change the delay time to be five seconds. And then going to the transport out statement, start transport out variable to be piston head, the first one. And then the second statement will send out the piston rod. So What's remaining is wait transport because start transport out is gonna be executed right away and then it goes to the line that has wait transport. And as variable name, I'll put piston head and the other statement piston rod. 
Later on when we play the simulation, we will check the execution order of these and try to be reassured. So we press play. Both humans go to pick up the parts. They come to the workstation and then 10 seconds delay and then the start transport out is called right away. 5 second delay and it stays in the weight transport so that parts go out from the manual station to the sync processes. And if I delete that 5 seconds delay between the start transport out statements, we will see a bit clearer that both statements get executed quite quickly and the executor jumps to the weight transport lines for both parts so that they both at the same time leave our workstation. How awesome is that, right? That concludes our video. I hope you enjoyed it and please remember to simulate before it's late. Have a good one and bye for now.